you're looking to buy a home in Philadelphia, but you're on a budget. Don't worry, you are not alone. There are still plenty of great neighborhoods in Philly where you can get a good deal on a $500,000 home. And the last one is going to be a neighborhood no one else is talking about in their YouTube videos. I'm Dawn D'Amico, your favorite Philly realtor. If you're even thinking about moving here, don't be shy. Reach out today. My details are right below. In this video, I'm going to share with you five of the best areas to buy a $500,000 home in Philadelphia with the best bang for your buck. So whether you're a young professional, a family with kids, or a retiree, I can assure you that I can help you find the perfect neighborhood for you and yours in Philadelphia. Let's get down to the best areas to buy a $500,000 home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The best bang for your buck. The first one is gonna be Point Breeze, a historic neighborhood in South Philadelphia. Point Breeze is known for its diverse community, its vibrant art scene, and its walkable streets. The neighborhood is home to a variety of restaurants and shops and cultural attractions too. Residents love the Point Breeze Farmer's Market, which is held every Sunday, and taking a walk or bike ride along the Schuylkill River Trail. First, we're gonna check out some homes in Point Breeze. Let's check out a couple options for the $500,000 sale price. Now this is September, 2023, okay? Right now we're looking at about 100 homes for, for sale in this neighborhood, which is a great selection to choose from. And now what we wanna do is see the ones that are 500,000. Right now what you're looking at is my MLS. This is where our realtors post all the homes for sale. So let's just check out a couple, okay? Uh, right at the 500 thousand dollar mark let's look at this one for 489 it's three bedrooms two and a half baths that's a great size for a family and that's hard to find sometimes in philadelphia in these old row homes so this one's close to five hundred thousand. um it is 1800 square feet please let's check out some photos i'm going to assume it's this one right in the middle Beautiful open floor plan. You have your front living room, little dining area in the middle, and then in the back, this is called a straight through row. So it just goes straight through front to back. They've opened up staircases here uh, to connect the basement living space with the uh, second floor living space. Everything's new. They've got some sliders out to the back patio. You don't get much yard in Philly, so it's a beautiful kitchen. I love it. If you want to go check out this house, just give me a call. I'm happy to take you shopping in this neighborhood. Here looks like the third floor primary suite is what it says. And look, there, there's a deck right out there. Same bedroom. There's the primary bathroom, I'm going to assume. There's the balcony off the primary bedroom. Here's the second bedroom. Oh, it's got a little balcony. That's really nice. Third bedroom. Tiny but cute. There's the hall bath. So that first bathroom I showed you was the uh, in the primary. Now they're taking us into the finished basement. So this is the finished basement. Just some extra living space and looks like a half bath probably. Yep. Nice little patio. At least you can get your grill on out there. All right, that's it. So that's Point Breeze. A little under 500 and guess what it's been reduced that means you could probably get it even less let's check out one more here let's see 
So they want a little over 500. Let's look at a 515. This one's on Wilder. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, close to 1600 square feet, right in Point Breeze. Beautiful. I like the, the finishes here look a lot nicer than the last one. So that's the back of the house. It's got the open staircase like the last one we looked at. There's the uh, primary suite. It looks like the photographs here are jumping around a bit, so I apologize. Looks like we're back in the living room. <laughs> All right, went from the living room, kitchen, back to the... The pictures are good. The, the, the kitchen's beautiful. Again, if you want to go shopping in Point Breeze, just let me know. Oh, here's the finished basement there. Look at that big, huge beanbag. That's pretty cool. A nice little bar area. And a half bath down in the basement. And now we're back upstairs. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's nice. Looks like it's the hall bath. I'm not sure though. It's not labeled properly. Oh, okay. Here is the, it looks like the primary suite. Wow, nice. This is the primary bathroom. And they even have a bar and a rooftop deck. Look at that. Okay, guys. I think for 515, this looks like a good deal. And that's the back patio there. Now, Point Breeze is located right here, as you can see. This area here, everything pops up. I hate it. Anyhow, here is Point Breeze neighborhood highlighted. And then right here where you see the big Philadelphia, that's considered downtown. So if you're considering Point Breeze, you may want to consider some other neighborhoods around it. Some other great neighborhoods like Grays Ferry, Southwest Center City. Here's New Bolt down here, South Philly, West Pass Yonk. So there's a lot of other neighborhoods to consider here. Residents say it's a safe and family friendly place to be within close proximity to Center City and all the major attractions that are down there. There is a lot of investment in the neighborhood, which is driving property values, which means faster equity growth for you. The neighborhood is becoming increasingly popular with young professionals and families. Next up is going to be East Pass Yonk a vibrant and up-and-coming neighborhood in Philadelphia. It is known for its diverse dining scene, trendy shops, and friendly community. The neighborhood is located just a few blocks from Center City, making it a very convenient and desirable place to live. Residents love shopping at the neighborhood's independent boutiques, the vintage stores, or taking a walk or bike ride along East Pass Young Ave and enjoying a drink at one of the neighborhood's many bars and cafes. All right, folks, let's check out a few $500,000 options in East Pass Young Crossing. Now, this area only has 20 homes for sale at this time in September, 2023. All right, so we're checking out East Pass Young Crossing in September, 2023. We're gonna look at a couple $500,000 homes. There aren't very many for sale here, so it must be a very popular area right now, specifically. Uh, all right, here's the first 500,000 even. Three story, it's got four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, 3,000 square feet. Let's check it out. Large. Wow, it's gorgeous. I love that it looks like it has the original hardwood floors, which is, you know, sometimes hard to find in these Philly houses. They just go right over them with something cheap, but that's beautiful. And again, this is just a straight through home. You walk in the front door, you've got your living room, your dining room, your kitchen in the rear. That's looking toward the front of the house. It's a nice big room. 
for a Philly row. Open staircases again. Nice kitchen. I love those hardwood floors. Let's check out some bathrooms. That looks like a half bath. There's your back patio. Uh, this looks like the finished basement. All right. And this looks like the uh, primary bathroom with the two sinks. Hardwood floors throughout the, all the floors, it looks like. If you guys want to see this house, I'm happy to take you shopping in this neighborhood. Okay, let's get to the next one. This one is 539. It has the same number of bedrooms and bathrooms as the last four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,780 square feet. It has been reduced <laughs> $1,000, big deal. Okay, and we are in East Pass Yonk. It looks like it has new windows. This looks like it might have been newly renovated. Yep, so it is a newly renovated. See that? See what I mean? They take out all the old flooring and they just put this fake stuff right over top. A new kitchen, a bathroom right off the kitchen. Look at that. Yuck. Wow. Okay. There's the, oh, I guess it's, I guess it's laundry and bathroom. Yeah. There's the finished basement. more finished basement I don't know where this bathroom is but it looks looks like it might be in the basement all right boring bedrooms here's a little balcony that's it eh, I like the last one a lot better huh okay so that was two in East Pass Yonk okay so guys we're gonna check out uh, the map of East Pass Yonk as you can see it is is outlined in the red and around East Pass Young Crossing, you have New Bold, South Philly, Lower Moyamensing. You know, there's so many other neighborhoods in Philadelphia to choose from. You've got Wart in here to the east. So if you're looking in this area, uh, you know, there are plenty of other options. It is south of Center City, Philadelphia, which is considered broad and market right here where my my cursor is so that's downtown and this neighborhood is right there in the red east pass yonk there are many reasons why east pass yonk is a good place to call home residents say they feel safe and it's a very walkable neighborhood plus there's lots of things to do in east pass yonk from dining to shopping and exploring the art scene. It is a welcoming place for everyone. The neighborhood is home to a very diverse community. And best of all, the property values in East Pass Yonk are rising, making it a great investment for you. So don't wait. If this is the place for you, just reach out to me. My details are below. Next up, Queen Village, a historic neighborhood in Philadelphia, known for its cobblestone streets, charming shops and diverse restaurants. The neighborhood is also home to a number of art galleries and cultural attractions. Residents love shopping at the Head House Farmer's Market, which is held every Sunday. You'll see families in the neighborhood taking a walk or bike ride along the Delaware River Trail. So the next neighborhood we're gonna check out is Queen Village. Check out a couple $500,000 options. There are 40 homes for sale in this particular neighborhood right now, September, 2023. Let's see what kind of value we can get for 500,000. Now what you're looking at is my MLS and I'm gonna search by price here. So let's look at this one. It's exactly 500,000. Queen Village is very close to the Delaware River. So it's much closer to downtown Philly than the last couple neighborhoods we looked at. This house has only two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's only 
a thousand square feet. So it's not very big. Maybe you have a small family. I don't know what we're looking at here because the agent did not label any of the pictures. So you can see you get a lot less square footage the closer you get to downtown. You're going to get a lot less square footage for your money. This looks like the basement. Somebody's sleeping at that, at the bottom of the basement stairs. And again, this looks like maybe a basement bathroom. And here's another bedroom. All right, nothing fancy here for your 500,000. But you are closer to downtown in Queen Village. Let's check out the next one. This one is 509. It must be sitting on the market a little bit because it has been decreased from 525 to 509. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a row home. It's a straight through with the living room, dining room, kitchen in the back. It looks like a lot less square footage. I'm sorry, I didn't notate that. But anyway, the kitchen is nice. All right, let's get to the bathroom. Let's get to the good stuff. When you're a buyer, you, you know, the most important things to look at is, in my opinion, the kitchens and the bathrooms because they're the most expensive things to replace. I don't know what's going on here. I guess that's the second bathroom. And this looks like the basement. I don't know what's going on. They're doing some work. And there's your half bath. And there's your little balcony. So this is 509 in Queen Village. Only a little more than 1,000 square feet. 1,134 square feet. 509 is the price. So let's check out a map of Queen Village. All right, so you can see the, uh, the Queen Village neighborhood is on the river. Here is the Jersey River running up, or not the Jersey River, sorry, the Delaware River is separating Philadelphia from New Jersey across the river here. And Queen Village is right there. Uh, again, there's so many other neighborhoods near, nearby. So if you're looking here, there's all these other neighborhoods. And it, the further from downtown, the more home you're going to get for your money. So be sure to consider some of the other neighborhoods near Queen Village. There are many reasons why Queen Village is a great place to call home. Residents say it's a safe and walkable neighborhood. It is close to Center City with all its major attractions. The neighborhood has a lot to offer, from shopping to dining to arts and culture. With property values in Queen Village on the rise, it is certain to be a good investment. Next up, Roxborough a historic neighborhood in the northwest section of Philadelphia. Roxborough is known for its tree-lined streets, Victorian-style homes, and its proximity to the Wissahickon Valley Park. The neighborhood is home to a variety of restaurants, shops, and businesses. Residents love walking or biking along the Schuylkill River Trail or through Wissahickon Valley Park. Visiting Roxborough Art Center and shopping and dining on Ridge Avenue. Next up, we're going to explore Roxborough. Roxborough is part of Philadelphia, but it doesn't feel like the city. And so it's very popular for people who need to live in the city or want to be close, but also want a little bit more of a suburban feel. There are 27 uh, properties available here in Roxborough. Let's check out the ones that are 500,000. Here's one that's exactly 500,000. It is five bedrooms, but only one bathroom. Yuck. Okay, it is a freestanding uh, home, 2,300 square feet. That's pretty big. Lots of square footage. Three stories. Looks like it might be oh, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> They're not going to show us the inside. And you know what that means? Usually that means it's in bad shape. Yeah. 
it's going to be in bad shape. Let's check out another one. Ooh, 620. No, we don't want to go that high. Okay, here's 498. All right, $498,000. This is in Roxborough. We see the living room first. Very small living room. Nice kitchen. At least it's updated. Very small house, though. There's your bathroom. It's kind of cool. Back to the kitchen, I guess. <laughs> There's another bathroom. A bedroom. Another bedroom. And a backyard. And it looks like it's fenced. Okay, so this is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. It's 1,300 square feet. Only 850 of those square feet are above ground. So that's 500,000. All right, folks, let's check out another $500,000 house in Roxborough. This house is a single family home, detached. Looks like it might need some work. Yes, it does. But this is what you're gonna get for 500 in Roxborough. Nothing pretty. But hey, if you really wanna live in Roxborough, you know, it's a, it's a big house. You just got to do some work to it. Okay, let's check out a map of Roxborough over here. Now, as you can see, this is the neighborhood of Roxborough. It's outlined in red. As we zoom out, you can see we are pretty far from downtown Philly. Even though this is considered Philly. Downtown is all the way down here. The bottom of the screen it's going to take at least like a 20 30 minute uh, depends on traffic but it, it, if you need to be downtown you might not want to live in roxborough just a suggestion but if you do like roxborough there are a lot of other great neighborhoods around it like gladwin winmore germantown down here about kenwood narberth out here you know if you kind of want to get out of philly maybe uh there's so many options elkins park is another great one over here to the right these are all great areas. Here are just a few reasons why Roxborough is a great place to consider home. Residents say it's a safe and family friendly neighborhood. It's close to Center City and other major attractions. The neighborhood has a lot to offer from hiking and biking to shopping and dining. Plus property values in Roxborough are rising, making it a great investment. And last up is Somerton. This is a diverse neighborhood in the Northeast section of Philadelphia. It's known for its affordability, proximity to Center City, and its family-friendly atmosphere. The neighborhood is home to a variety of restaurants, shops, and businesses. Residents love shopping at the Somerton Farmer's Market, which is held every Sunday. Residents also love walking or bike riding along Pennypack Creek Trail or exploring the Somerton Playground. And the Somerton Recreation Center is a hit with the kids. This neighborhood is called Somerton. It's in the far northeast section of Philadelphia. And there are only 20 matches here because it's even though a lot of people don't talk about it for relocation clients, is very popular with Philadelphia residents as well. So there's only 20 homes for sale here, and we're gonna look at the ones for 500,000, or around 500,000. So here's one for 485. It's a single family home, 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and an attached garage. It's, I'm sorry, the pictures are horrible. This is terrible. Whoever the agent is here, they sh I'm sorry, they should be ashamed of themselves. That's not bad. I mean, for Somerton, this is a pretty good deal. To be honest with you, <laughs> if you wanna go shopping in Somerton, just let me know. I mean, these pictures do not do this house justice, but uh, it looks like it needs some updating. All right, let's get to the next one. The next one is 489. It looks similar to the last one. 
three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 21, 56 square feet. It's got the garage. Much better photographs at the very least here. It looks like it's at a little bit of a split level, kind of. Okay, nice back patio. Ooh, nice backyard. So this is something you get when you, uh, the further away from Philly you, you get, from downtown Philly, you can get properties with yards. Even though you're in Philadelphia, you can find homes like this. They're going to be a little further from downtown. And look at that, a nice pool too. And there's the basement. Oh, must be the walkout basement because it is a split level. All right, there you go. There's that second home in Somerton I wanted to show you. Next, guys, we're going to check out a map. Okay, so here is a map of Philadelphia with Somerton outlined in red. If we zoom out, you can see downtown Philly is all the way here where my cursor is. Bold Philadelphia is. That's where downtown is. So it is a little ways, but it's so close to Route 1 or 95. You can hop on and be there in like 15 minutes if you need to be downtown. In addition, if you want to live in Philly or near Philly, but don't want to live in the city because of taxes, you have this neighborhood right here. Feasterville Trevos is a great neighborhood. It is in Bucks County, so it is not part of the city. Ben Salem is a fan, it was just voted number one town to raise a family. So that's a great neighborhood right there. But if you do need to live in the city, here's Bustleton is another great neighborhood. Morrell Park down here is a fantastic neighborhood. Parkwood, that's a very popular neighborhood too. So if, if you're looking at the far northeast, you want something with a yard and grass, then this is probably more your speed. Now, there are plenty of reasons why Somerton is a great place to call home. Residents say it is a safe and family-friendly neighborhood. The neighborhood has a lot to offer from shopping and dining to parks and recreation. And property values in Somerton are relatively affordable, making a great option for first-time buyers or those looking to downsize. Now, even though you haven't heard about Somerton on these types of YouTube videos, it's a very popular neighborhood and properties are selling quickly right now in September 2023. So if you see something you like, reach out to me right away. I'm Dawn D'Amico and I'm a licensed agent in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey. If you're looking to buy or sell in a different state, well, hey, that sucks for you. But I can still answer your burning real estate questions and refer you to a great agent in your area, wherever that might be. But if you have decided that your heart is set on living somewhere in the Philadelphia metro, reach out to me below. I absolutely love hearing from people who want to live in one of the best metros in the country. And I'll see you in the next video.